I think compared to last split, we just improved a lot as a, as a team. We can adapt on every meta or like every situation. Like for example, like last week, we were, we were so bad at the uh, player on both side and then we don't know how to uh, play when you're behind. League of Legends is team game, so you need to work as a team and then it's working out right now. Like we are adapting on uh, every situation and we are still bad though. We are still bad, but still we think we think same way. So I think that's the, the good point of the display. I think our like players are all playing well. They're all training really well. When we get another another week and then another week and then another week, I think we are practicing really efficiently and I think we can we can improve a lot. Instantly, Spice without any wave to try and trying to defend. I guess the only positive is the globals can't be used here. And Kobe hasn't died, which is the very positive thing for him. Xerxes though will go down once again. We did get the kill on the trundle. Both Nexus towers fall, and it looks like G2 are well on their way back to their winning ways here. They're gonna go eight and three against Splice. After we came back from Rift Rivals, it was rough for like maybe one, two weeks. And then the next two weeks after that, I think were really, really productive. We improved quite a bit. I think it didn't transition onto stage. We, we changed some things like on the day. Drafts kind of took it away from what we were practicing sometimes. So that was a problem. Good luck, Wanda. Show me some points. Goes into the stopwatch, but you're not running away from Schalke today. They chase you into your base and they wipe you off the face of Summoner's Rift. Amazing kills Jankos once again, and G2 have no hope left against Schalke 0 bit. We got some minions down there in the Terra. They're still fighting. Wonder trying to turn it around. Death from a blow gets one, but now Wonder is next on the menu for Schalke. He's he buying time. Fall. It's not like the, the most impressive run after Rift Rivals, but I still think or for scrims at least in the in the last two weeks or last week. We have been playing really well and even though we went one-on-one -on -one, like stomped Splice and then like got stomped really convincingly by Schalke the day after, I think our scrims that week were really good and really like really helped us a lot and uh, if we just keep that up and just keep like improving like we do in scrims, I'm sure like the stage results will follow and then we'll for sure be ready for playoffs. If I had the voice, I would sing. <laughs> we can do, we can do Shrek. <laughs> Shrek. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me in the sharpest tool in the shed. Hey guys, remember to have fun today. Like never ever again. I mean, before. Like we will never have fun again in our lives. Point find the engage, and this will be the third tower of the game for G2. Very clean map movement tip from Oh, G2. Perks straight onto the base of Kedro, even chases him. The ignite, tick, tick, boom. Perks gets Kedro.
versus Fnatic. These teams have 10 EU LCS titles combined. Instantly, the team is just cut down. Brox are coming in, running everybody down. Fnatic playing with their food. Wonder running for the hills. Oh, he's still tired. He can't get any rage. Goes taken out. That's the double for Caps. Beautiful fight for Fnatic. Thank God G2 banned that Sire. That would have been so hard to deal with. Instead of this Vladimir, that's effectively one-shotting the back line of G2 in every single fight. We thought it was going to be a Caps call, but it's all Blippo all the time. And Fnatic, a rough game yesterday. Maybe some started to doubt, but the Fnatic faithful are alive in the EU LCS crowd. They're going to go get for the bounce. Get them, baby! They know how much it hurts the pride of G2. They're going to close it out in the end. Fnatic takes sole control of second place. Why we are always struggling is like, always league is so random. Like, you don't know what will happen in this game. And then you always need to react to the the, the, their plays and we need to make our plans but also we need to think about the draft as well but meta is changing every day every week and it's like it's really important that you should look for what is actually like really good uh, champions or like picks because if you don't know what to pick or if you don't know what to play like you cannot make game plan I mean, our two last weeks of scrims hasn't been like super productive. Uh, some days people have cancelled, some days it's just been three games. But we just had to do the best of it and this week we'll have good scrim games and we just had to like really focus hard and get back into 100% shape again. Yeah. G2 up against the Unicorns of Love. G2 still fighting for that top spot, of course, in Europe. Doesn't connect and Purse goes in and now perhaps the Unicorns can be against White Knight. White Knight has the flag, the curtains oh, open. Perhaps is the curtain call for G2's home at that top spot. White Knight goes into the world ender. He's going to resurrect Exhaust Juice on Wonder. And G2 turns this one back around and Exeg Ultimatum is huge. The separation in this fight, but no one is dying. And the Unicorns get one. They lose two. G2 reset. Back away. Oh. Sevix flashes in. It's not enough damage and he will pay for it with his life. He's done. G2 clean up the fight. Cole getting chased down here as well by Wadid. Go and AD carry work, so top dot, bot dot. Uh, Hans Simon's second trinket is always in the bot tribush when they need to push out in base. So Parry, usually his pre-10 minute work, ping boards are defensive ones. But they're hovering around the bound here. Turret will go down mid lane. Magana, he's leaving. He's about to join the fight. Yeah, Hyana needs to be here. Four on five. Baron is being shredded and melted and destroyed in the double rage play. Oh, 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 the shotgun. G2 Esports destroy Misfits. Sankax picks up the Baron, but at the cost of his entire team. Um, so where we're standing right now is kind of odd because we really hate this best of one scenario, I think. Um, in the best of five, the teams with the best fundamentals will win. And I think right now the, best, the teams with the best fundamentals are Fnatic, Schalke and us. I'm very confident, even though like last week, some unfortunate circumstances with bad practice, but thank God we still had a really good game against Misfits. Slow start are looking to keep fighting for that top spot. They're not done yet. They keep forcing back onto Steelback. He's done for Shannon just two v one ing They're on the fountain. He's still killing them. Who cares what patch it is? G2 still fighting for the top spot here in the EU LCS.
takes his turrets. Vitality are about to force the turret. Oh, they're going for some more here, more kills. Oh, it's simply not going to be enough. Jazuki's on a killing spree. He kills what did. The Nexus turrets are falling. So is Yankos. The third time for the game. Vitality have taken down G2 Esports. Against Vitality, our first game, it was like miscommunication a bit between my our our jungler and, and mid in early. They had they took a pretty bad fight at uh, like three or four and they got double killed and after that it's really like hard to to pressure. So it just went really really badly really early in that game from the early game. The important thing is to master like your own team's identity. Because when you play so many best of ones and then when you get into tiebreaker situations it becomes less about your preparation. It's more about staying like true to your team and how you need to play. Ah!